What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by iMyPhone DBAC. Now, as you guys can see, we're actually taking a look at all the different backups that you can potentially restore using this software. So, there's a variety of options. We have Smart Recovery, Recover from iOS device. So, you simply plug in your device. That one's pretty straightforward. I've showed you guys that in the past. And then you can get information directly off your device but nine times out of ten your device is fine and you can just use itunes or windows to go ahead and just get that data where things get a little harder is when you try to recover data from your itunes backup which we're going to go over in a second and even harder is trying to recover data from icloud itself apple puts so many loops and hurdles in our way just to get our own data back trying to get photos off there requires like 10 different steps trying to get files forget it but this makes it super super easy and it allows you to access backups that you can't even really find if you go onto your official iCloud page you can't even see these backups much less access what's inside of them the only way to actually see these backups is to go ahead and restore them onto an iPad or an iPhone and here's the really funny part when you go ahead and restore them Apple usually doesn't restore all the data anyway some of your settings are usually missing some photos are missing something or another always goes wrong and here's another scenario what if you actually want to only recover one particular thing you just need one photo from that backup you don't need the one gigabyte file you want one single photo what then well that's where dbac comes in basically you choose a backup you have all your different devices as you can see i have a fair share of apple devices but i have my entire photo stream right here we have the ipad we have another ipad we have the um my iphone 6s that's running 12.1.2 so let's go ahead and just go after this particular file right here it's 388 megabytes and i'm simply going to hit next and now you can actually choose what you wish to recover what options do we have well we have our messages we have our call history our contacts but most importantly we have whatsapp i do want to point out that on my phone does have separate software just to get whatsapp but i also want to show that this software does it all and can get you your whatsapp information back and this makes life much much easier because you can get your photos back you especially you can get your messages back but more importantly you can get those attachments back and sometimes this might i've actually used this in the past just to, as a convenient way to look back at messages who wants to scroll and scroll and scroll through thousands of messages and try to find that one single picture you're looking for when you can only restore when you can go ahead and restore one single message that you need and just look through it quickly and get back that one attachment that you need so i want to focus it on whatsapp but with that said it also can get things back from wechat qq viber kick skype and even line all the different messaging platforms all in one most of them i don't really use i do only use iMessage to be honest honest but i know the rest of the world uses those so here we are photos and videos so you can get your photos back you can get your videos back you can get app photos back app videos next off you also have your notes that you can get back voice memos safari bookmarks calendars reminders and even your actual history off of safari so i'm going to keep some things private and let's see what we can restore and see what we can get back uh let's go ahead and the really cool part is so i went ahead and get messages if we did this off whatsapp it would look exactly the same as you can see i can actually scroll up and look at these individual uh, messages that I got now these are all verification codes but if this was real messages you could see the images and things within these messages who they're from what the timestamp is and you can simply scroll up on any of these and you are set to go how cool is that now before this video gets too long I do want to go over this cool little option right here as well this is another software they have but once again it comes with this one right here basically it fixes different iOS issues in case your device is acting up there's standard mode there's exit recovery mode and advanced mode what a standard mode do well it usually goes through the white screen of death and the black screen of death nothing we ever want to see if your device is stuck on the Apple logo or the recovery mode this can fix that as well along with fixing things like restarting loops iTunes Air Error, bricked iOS devices and even freezing screens all without data loss how cool is that and if for some reason you do happen to lose data once again you got the software right here and you can get that data back in five seconds now the other thing here is exit recovery mode so it's a quick fix for iOS devices stuck in recovery mode so you simply click that and it'll bring it back to life in case you don't know how to get your iPhone out of recovery mode which a lot of people don't and lastly we have advanced mode choose this mode and if you forget the password for the screen lock or you fail to fix the iOS issues in standard mode this is going to do a hardcore cleanup and try to get your device running back the way it should lastly let's go ahead and actually try to restore some information here are all the different backups that i have of my phones and ipads so i'm simply going to go ahead and choose one at random and try to go and get 
my information back. I'm simply going to hit scan. It's going to go ahead and analyze that particular backup. And hopefully it's going to be able to recover some of the information. There wasn't much on here, but some of the information that I need. So for example's sake, I'm only going to restore one little thing so I don't share private information. Right here we got ourselves a picture. As you can see, it restored the full image. This is a fully deleted image from a random application. And as you can see, all I have to do is select this image, hit recover, and then you can actually choose the file format that it will actually recover it in. So we have .html right here, and you can actually restore exactly where this is restored to. So if I want to restore it to my downloads, I simply select that hit recover and we are set to go. It will create a full on folder for you guys or just like this. And lo and behold, there is a full quality version of my image. How cool is that? So go ahead and check out the software below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.